What's happening, Anoka? I'm Abby. And I'm Dara. Today is Wednesday, January 16th. Anoka Deca had an outstanding showing at the recently competed D District 4 West Deca competition. Competing against over 400 Deca members, Anoka Deca had 64 state qualifying efforts. This was highlighted by first place finishes by Bennett Lanigan in financial consulting and personal finance literacy. Ashley Pugh in hotel and lodging role play, Colby Samstrom in integrated marketing plan, Dan Pelletier in Principles of Marketing, Blake Welling and Nemgel Dorji in Entrepreneurship Team Roleplay, and Rachel McDonald and Logan Furman in Sports and Entertainment Team Roleplay. And congrats to me, Abby, and Savannah Smalls for finalizing in our integrated marketing campaign. 28 members placed in two events, while senior Bennett Lanigan and junior Alexis Moritz placed in three events. Anoka stepped up and brought home the coveted DECA Cup. There were eight events that made up the cup, and Anoka won four of them, including me. Winners were myself, Lindsay Hansen, Kayla Rochelle, Monty Bertalis, and Christian Mirabel. Anoka Deca would like to thank those who competed and congratulated all 99 Deca members who represented themselves, Anoka Deca and the Anoka family. Attention senior boys, there are still a few spots available for the Powder Buff Tournament. Sign-up sheets are located outside the activities office on the bulletin board by the counseling office. Last day for sign-ups is Friday, January 18th. The Powder Buff Tournament will kick off during Warp Week on Monday, January 28th at 7 p.m. Attention students who plan on attending the Morp Dance on Friday, February 1st. Ticket sales will be the week of January 28th. Prior to ticket sales, please make sure you are getting your fines cleared in the finance office and guest forms filled out and signed by your assistant principal before January 25th. Guest forms are pink and available in the main office. Tickets will be $10 for a single or $18 for couples. Going to college and don't know how to pay for it? Apply for the Well and Education Partner Scholarship today. Minimum eligibility requirements and application can be found on the Well and Education Partners website. The application deadline is February 15th. The Knowledge Bowl had another strong showing on Tuesday night at Spring Lake Park High School. The Bowl is Life team tied the Blaine team for first place with 83, but was awarded second place via a tiebreaker. The Farm Accident team had the high round for Anoka scoring 18 points and finished in eighth place out of 41 teams. The last round Robin meet of the season is on January 29th at Holy Angels. Only 21 teams from the metro area make it to the postseason. The Anoka speech team has their first tournament of the season this Saturday right here at Anoka. If you are curious to see what a speech tournament is like, feel free to volunteer. Talk with Mr. Anderson today in L137. Good luck this week in speechies. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast sponsored by the cold and flu season. Here at TV7 News, we would like to say that we aren't fans of you. Here's Mia in the Weather Center. Thanks, Dara. Today looks like the typical January day. Sunny skies and a high of 20 degrees. Tomorrow brings the clouds in, but temps should stay the same with a high of 21 degrees. The weekend is where it looks really cold. Saturday will bring below zero lows with even colder wind chills and a high only reaching the single digits. It appears to be getting cold with each forecast, so plan ahead, Anoka. That's your weather. I'm Mia. Back to you, Abby. Dodgeball is back. Intermural Dodgeball begins, begins next Wednesday, January 23rd. Registrations are located in the Activities Office. This is a, one of the most exciting events of the school year. Sign up today. There are a lot of teams ready to dip, dodge, duck, and dive. See Coach Hale or Coach Schuster with any questions. On Wednesday, January 23rd, Anoka High School Theater will pre be presenting a night of one acts. Come join us for an evening of one act plays, including, including Anoka's one act, competition piece, The Pavilion, the classic comedy Check Please, and two student-directed scenes. This is a one-night-only event. Tickets are $4 at the door, cash only, please. Last night was another busy night in sports, and to get you caught up on all the action is our resident sports guy, Sam. Thanks, Abby. Both basketball teams fell to Centennial last night. The boys fell by 11 points after having a tough time getting the offense going. David Ayeni had 16 in the loss. The girls had an even tougher night scoring. Olivia Anderson led the way with 9 points in the loss. Elk River is up next on Friday. Congratulations to the boys swimmers and divers in the meet last night against Armstrong. They are still unbeaten in conference meets and are, have been working hard. On Thursday this week, they will travel to Elk River on Saturday. And on Saturday, they will be competing in the Section AA True Team. This is a big week. Good luck to our Lords of the Lap Pool. 
And finally, a tough loss for the girls' hockey. They were shut out against rival Andover Huskies. They will take on Coo Rapids Champlain Park team next. That's your look at the sports and activities. I'm Sam from the Sports Deck. Now back to Abby and Dara. Thanks, Sam. Remember, if you missed anything on the news or were absent for a day, you can find us at the Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube. Also, for early lunch updates, you can follow us on Twitter at Anoka TV News. Before we go, it's time for the fun fact of the day brought to you by Mr. Berkeley and his campaign to bring back squad seating charts in gym class. Did you know that there are only four words in the English language that end in dust, tremendous, horrendous, stupendous, and hazardous? Those are the four words that I've used to describe myself on Instagram. <laughs> Today's lunch is five cheese lasagna. That's the news. I'm Dara. And I'm Abby. Have a great day, Anoka.